welcome to this video in our previous video we saw how raj had found trigonometric ratios of 45 degree angles with the help of the right angled triangle today we will calculate the values of trigonometric ratios of 30 degrees and 60 degrees from the equilateral triangle lmn with simran given that the length of each side of the equilateral triangle lmn is 2a and each angle is 60 degrees from the vertex l of the triangle draw a perpendicular lo on its opposite side mn where perpendicular lo is the bisector of angle l and the point o is the midpoint of the side mn from this we get two congruent right angled triangles lom and lon here let's discuss one of these two triangles the triangle lom in triangle lom we see that the angle o is a right angle angle l is 30 degrees and m is 60 degrees where the measure of side om is a and the measure of side lm is 2a so can you tell me what is the length of side lo absolutely right using the pythagoras theorem in the triangle lom the length of side lo that is perpendicular is equal to a square root of 3 so let's first know about trigonometric ratios of 30 degree angles the value of the sine 30 degrees from the right angle triangle lom will be equal to the ratio of opposite side of the angle l and hypotenuse on solving this we get the value of sin 30 degrees as 1 upon 2 so can you tell me what will be the value of cos 30 degrees well done find the ratio of the adjacent sides of the angle l and hypotenuse which when solved obtain the square root of 3 upon 2 similarly we obtain the value of trigonometric ratios tan cosec sec and cot 30 degrees So in this way we have obtained all trigonometric ratios of 30 degree angles Since we also have to know trigonometric ratios of 60 degree angles therefore from the above right angle triangle LOM we can tell that the value of sin 60 degrees will be equal to the ratio of the opposite side of the angle m and the hypotenuse on solving this we obtain the value of sin 60 degrees is the square root of 3 upon 2 and if we talk about the value of 60 degrees then this angle will be equal to the ratio of the adjacent side of the angle m and hypotenuse on solving this we obtain the value of cos 60 degrees as 1 upon 2 similarly 
we obtain the value of trigonometric ratios tan, cosec, sec and cot 60 degrees. which are represented by the following table. Today, in this video, we obtained the trigonometric ratios of 30 degree and 60 degree angles. In the next video, we will see how Rahul will find the trigonometric ratios of 0 degree and 90 degree.